Welcome back, everybody. Hello to all the new viewers that are watching this new video of mine. So today we're just uh, here real quick. Here we talk about OBD11. There's, uh, you know, other things like Carista and Vacom. These do the same thing. They plug in down here to the OBD11 that's down here. The, the port. There's like a port literally right here. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a moment. But this right here, let's open it up. We got this from ECS Tuning. It's on sale. It's like 70 bucks. It's still a little pricey, but for what it is, it's pretty, pretty good. I think it's your best bang for your buck. You can do so many things with this. Um, for example, you can do this. Take a look at the gauges behind me. Gauge sweep. Lovely. Um, for me, I did gauge sweep. I did the windows, the windows up, windows down with your uh, key fob. So key up, down. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a moment. It's real quick. So to make it easier, open up your door. Come down here. Don't mind me. Floor's just a tad bit dirty. Come down here. going to locate this port right here. It goes this way. Nope, oh, getting out of the way. Plug it in. It's gonna light up like that, nice and red. How lovely. And you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna hop in here, grab trap phone, Android, whatever. You wanna unlock your phone, of course. going to need to turn your Bluetooth on. It's going to pop up here, but you're going to go want to go to the Play Store and download OBD11. Just going to look that up. Uh, they might even send you a link that you downloaded directly just to avoid downloading the wrong thing. You're going to want to go to... OB11. I can get this to stay up right here. Yep. And I'm gonna make sure your auxiliary power is on and you're gonna wanna connect. Yes, this is the one. It's gonna take a few minutes to connect. That's just how it is. You guys might get something like this. You need to update it. I'm gonna go ahead and click update. If it doesn't update right away, you're just gonna clear the app out and then try it again. Then you're gonna to get to a screen like this. It's gonna say scan and you're just gonna to touch it. And then it's gonna go through the motions. It's gonna scan through everything. ECU, TCU, um, central electronics, what whatnot, brakes, literally everything that has a sensor. Your dash is gonna go crazy. It's just how it is. Uh, this might start doing some crazy thing too. But that's just what happens when it scans through everything. Check your battery life, of course. If it's green, if this is green, your battery is perfectly fine. But yeah, right now, central electronics. Then it's gonna go to the next device and it's gonna go through everything. It's gonna look for trouble codes and whatnot. So after a few minutes of scanning, it's gonna say how many fault units you have or how many problems. So it says we have two, but I wanna know what they are. So we're gonna go here, these things. This is also available on iPhone too. Like you'll have the same display layout. iPad too might be uh, layout might be a little different, but it's relatively all the same. So green is good. So engine's good, transmission's good. Central electronics, faults. There are currently no faults, but there are. Okay, so daytime running light, lamp. That's it, because I have to market lights in, so we're gonna wanna 
clear that. There are no faults. I'm gonna go back. Oh, multimedia, what's going on here? Oh, okay, I knew that already. It's right bass speaker. It's just right rear, so the speaker back there is apparently no good. And so if you wanna go do something, you gotta go find whatever you wanna do, like dash. And then you're can wait till it loads, of course. And then uh, you can either do long coding or adaptations, whatever is easier for you. You're gonna go here, and then you're gonna basically look for what you want. So all the options. Leave a link for the forms down below on how you like actually either long code it. You just basically just type in the number or if you're on VACOM, you copy and paste it. Um, and it'll just basically set everything up for you. Real simple, real easy. And then you'll be on your way, really. You'll just save the codes and that'll be that. You can connect this to other vehicles too. I'll leave some clips on me scanning codes and my buddy's GLI, figure out what's wrong. But this saves a lot of money. Like you go to Volkswagen and be like, I need diagnostics, something's wrong. They charge you like a hundred bucks, 150, 200. You go to a shop, they charge you a hundred bucks. You might get lucky and it'll be free, but then they'll be like, yeah, we have to fix your car as how they recoup their money. But really long-term, this is going to save you some money. 70, $74, 70 bucks, whatever, 80 bucks, however much it is. It's going to save you some money. You're going to be able to do some cool things. I'll show you guys right now what I got done. Let's just get... Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Put your thing down. Okay. No idea how I did that. Uh, so I got a nice feature. I can take my key. Uh, this wasn't long coded in. This was just an adaptation. Adaptation. I had to go find it. And as soon as I found it, I hit like enable or something like that. Or yeah, something like that. I don't really remember. But now I can do this. Open the windows with the key up and down. Pretty nice. I'll scan my boy's GLI real quick. This is a pre facelift. It's got a check engine light. Got a couple things going on. So we're just gonna see what is up with it today. Hopefully it's an easy fix. So let's check out engine and then faults. Screenshot that. It's a very nice GLI. It's a little kind of nicer than mine, low key. It's got some RPF ones on here too. It's sick. That appears to be the only. Yeah, that appears to be the only code. Yeah, two faulty control units. Besides the gauge sweep, you guys can also do, like you can turn off your seatbelt warning, you can turn the light off, you can turn the warning sound off, um, you can turn the chime off. When you open the door, you can turn that off. If you're 
and drive. That beep, you can also turn that off as well. A lot of things you can turn on and off. A lot of hidden features that like from factory, like the gauge sweep, the window up and down with key. Um, really, that's all that I know, but I will leave that link to the forums down below to help you guys out if you want to do some other things besides what I got. Um, this is the base model, so there's a lot less to do if you have like a higher level trim or a newer Audi or just a older Audi with a lot of trim, like a higher level trim, you'll be able to do more things. That's just how it is. If you guys like the video please leave a like and subscribe i would really appreciate it, it helps the channel grow with that said you guys have a beautiful day see you in the next one